Well, it's a heartbreaking situation. A devoted son being denied the chance to see his dying mother in Queensland one last time. Mark Talbot rushed back from the US but is now trapped in a 14-day hotel quarantine despite multiple requests for a compassionate travel exemption before it's too late. And Mark joins us now from his Brisbane hotel room. Mark, thank you for joining us this morning and we are so sorry to hear about your mum who's in Harvey Bay. How's she going? Um, she's actually uh, not doing too well. I, I, my phone's ringing, so it could be anyone. I'm trying to get through to me right now. Um, I'll just uh, let it ring, I suppose. Do you want to quickly check um, that that she, is not uh, Queensland Health? She's all... Just grab it, honestly. You, we do know, while you're grabbing that, we do know that you've been trying to get through to Queensland Health to be exempted from the 14-day quarantine um, so we can get up to see his mum. And so far, there's been no response. He's been sent one email with two lines... Um, wasn't from them, I'm guessing, Mark? Yeah, pretty much they just uh, sent a very generic email saying that um, the application was, uh, for exemption, was denied um, and there hasn't been any uh, personal contact or, um, you know, questions further than me just uh, explaining that I was coming from the US. Mm. Um, so I think the real issue is here is that I actually, um, I live in San Diego, I'm a US and an a, a Australian citizen um, and I feel that they're just sort of uh, not letting me get through the system as anyone else would normally because of that fact, um, when in fact I actually live in a very low risk area in San Diego with like 0.1% infection rate and zero deaths. <laughs> well, I mean, know, that's it. I've been in lockdown for... Sorry, sorry, Mark, because we sorry, know you've been, been, been told been that even yeah. if you test negative, you're not going to be allowed to visit your mum. And I mean, and this is the issue, you are coming from the United States, we do have to keep everyone safe, but there is also a need to be human here. Yeah. So surely there is a way that we can get you to see your mum before it's too late. Are there any other options open to you right now? Uh, none, that, none that have been communicated to me, no. There's been no, nothing put forward. I mean, I've, I've, I've uh, suggested in my emails that I'm happy for, you know, to, to be uh, uh, accompanied uh, on the visit to, you know, quarantine somewhere else outside of the, the facility that my mother has, which is actually ideal for self-quarantine. Um, there's a separate living quarters um, at a, a bed and breakfast uh, that uh, my brother runs on the property. Um, and I could stay there quite, quite okay. In fact, my elder brother self-quarantined there just, I think, five or six weeks ago, travelling from one state to get to see my mother. Yeah. Um, well, Mark, we will stay okay. on this so, for uh, you. We will stay on this for you. Um, we'll put in a few calls and hopefully we can, we can get you to see your mum before it's too late. Thanks for joining us this morning.